Hello and welcome to Crystal Crafts with Dee. Today I'd like to share with you two of my diamond paintings that I got from Shop Any Deals and I will be doing a works in progress and a review on both these diamond paintings. So first of all I was a bit over excited and I got started on this one but I wanted to show you how I've gone so far and the drill field as well. So this is a 30 by 40 special drill and it's just got some beautiful colors. I'm loving this. So I'll just bring it up a little bit closer. You can have a look. So we've got the drill field there. Nice and clear, very easy to see. You've got your legend there. So there's 11 colors. Put some marquees in there and you've got some normal round special drills. I just love this, love the colors, I love the eyes, I love the nose, I love his whiskers. That's just coming along beautifully. So that's the first diamond painting and I will be showing you the finished product on that one. I do apologize, I got very overexcited and before I knew it, it was nearly done. I thought, oh boy, I better um, hurry up and get this on camera before I finish it. I'm loving this. I just think it's just gorgeous. My next diamond painting that I'd like to share with you is Crystal Moon. Um, I did start this one as well because I wanted to test the, um, the drill field and I wanted to test the glue. But anyway, this is a 30 by 30. I love the colors. I just think it's really different. I, I like mandalas and that, but I thought this one was pretty darn cool. So this one here, there's your symbol legend there. So you've got some different ones. You've got uh, your normal rounds. You also have um, like some of these pearl, white pearl ones. I'll pull that back and show you in a second, but that's a drill field. There, it's pretty full on. It's got some really teeny tiny uh, teardrops in these as well, which I'll show you in a second. So I'll just pull that plastic back and let you have a bit of a sticky beak at where I got started. Okay, so there you go. I love the pearl finish. I think that's pretty cool. And the blue and the pinks and the purples, they just come up so pretty. And there's all your blue ones and the pearl, those teeny tiny teardrops. So the drill field's not bad, not bad at all. But one thing I am starting to notice is in some spots, the glue is actually a little bit slippery. So I've got to be very careful not to lean on them because they will move. But so far, so good. Really loving this. So. What I'll be doing is uh, bouncing back with some uh, still shots of my works in progress on both these diamond paintings and then the finished product. And then I'll let you know how I went and what I think of it, but so far so good. Two totally different projects. Loving the special drills. Uh, special drills at the moment are um, pretty good quality actually. I've had very few to throw away so far. so. Anyway, I'll be bouncing back to uh, show you my works in progress.
Okay, all finished with my wolf. I'm so happy with this. It turned out so good. I absolutely love this. I will be framing it. Uh, I just love this. The colors are just gorgeous. It's so beautiful. I just love everything about it. It's just come up so beautifully. I love the balance of the colors. The shine. It's just beautiful. The glue was easy to work with. The symbols were easy. Uh, it just, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed doing this diamond painting. So very, very happy with this one. It will definitely get framed. I had a lot of drills left over and very few rejects. So I was really happy with that as well. Overall, it's just, I just love this. It's gorgeous. It's sparkly. It's beautiful. Love it. Love, love, love. So that turned out really well. The next one was the crystal moon. That came up just gorgeous. I really love this. Really, really, really pretty. Very shiny. I just love it. It's gorgeous. The colors are just beautiful. Beautiful shine. Really, really nice. Now the glue on this one was a bit slippery. And there was one part in the actual drill field where there was no symbols, but there should have been. So I thought, well, stuff it, I'm going to put it in there. So all I used was Elmer's glue and I glued the little teardrops down exactly the same as the rest of them. It was actually around the star. It was actually around was that one right there, the little blue ones, blue teardrops. It was just missing three. Elmer's glue stuck down, you can't tell. So I was really happy with that. But overall, it just has beautiful shine. It came up really beautifully. I'm gonna frame this one as well. Uh, also with this one, the drill field wasn't very clear. So it was a little bit kind of, it wasn't difficult, but it wasn't very clear and it sort of wasn't perfectly spaced out. So a lot of these diamond paintings are perfectly spaced out and that sort of thing, but I just found it a little bit different, but it still looks just as good. So it's just my OCD issues coming out there. <laughs> but. I love it. I'm so happy with this. So this definitely is going to be framed. I started doing the little bit here and I thought, gee, it is a little bit crunched, isn't it? You know, I wish I would have ironed it first. I've never ironed a diamond painting. And so I went ahead and thought, oh, it's okay. I'll, I'll iron around that little bit that I, um, that I put the drills on. And so I sprayed the back of it and I ironed away and and I accidentally went over the drills and because the, on the other side, and because the glue wasn't very sticky, it moved all my drills and it, they kind of went woo everywhere. So that was a lot of fun trying to put them back into their places. But um, I'm glad I did iron it. But next time I will wait and do it first. So I love these diamond paintings. I cannot wait to frame them. The shine, the quality. I had very little drills that were no good. This was all I had to throw away from this one, which I think is pretty good, especially with special drills. You can get a lot of irregularities. Some of the silver is scratched off the back. Uh, but yeah, wow, that's it. That's pretty good. So. I will put a picture at the end of this video of both of these framed. Um, also, when I'm done with these special drill diamond paintings, I usually put them, the extra drills, aside for other craft projects. And I just wanted to show you what I put them in. I, as much as I don't like tic-tac boxes, 
I have this container and it's just filled with a gazillion loads of Tic Tac boxes. And I actually put all my special drills in here because I'm using them to make Christmas ornaments and that sort of thing. So uh, a lot of the colors are the same from each diamond painting. So I've just been putting them in here and it's easy to see and you just select what color you want and you can use it for different projects. So, uh, and that's all of these round ones, the teardrops, the marquees, I've got them all. Oh, that's empty. That's not going to help me much. I got my little stars from my Christmas one. So yeah, it's my little craft box, I guess, that I can get to and, and use it to make different projects. So there's a fair few in there actually. I don't know how many there is, but it'll take me a little while to fill it up. And you can see them nice and easy. So that's what I've been doing with my leftover drills. And this one actually had a lot of leftover drills, heaps actually. So that's handy because I can use it again for other projects. So thank you so much for watching my video. Hopefully I've given you some ideas. Uh, I did discover you can use Elmer's glue to stick stick these guys down and, and it works and they don't come off. And also do not iron your diamond painting uh, while you've got drills on the back. So thank you so much for watching my video and stay tuned for the next few that I've got coming along. Thank you for watching Crystal Crafts with Dee.